Hi, my name is Amir Nabila binti Amirul. Uh, I will be presenting about introduction and assumption. We conduct this scenario and uh, sensitivity to make a better decision in order to achieve our business goal. Firstly, uh, in this analysis, we have to do the assumption regarding the product. Secondly, we have to do um, profit based on the model, whether we should increase or decrease the demand price, unit cost, and quantity of production. We also did uh, the run and analysis regarding the markdown pricing. Lastly, in conducting the break-even decision in order to determine the suitable production volume. The unit price for the table lamp is uh, 60 ringgit, while the unit cost per unit is 33 ringgit. Uh, however, the fixed cost is um, 1,500 ringgit. As you can see, the product volume for one man is 1,200 units of a table uh, fan. Discounted rate and the clearance sale and intermediate sales of uh, 50% and 20%. Markdown pricing model, we show the total revenue we get if we set intermediate discount and clearance discount. These are the data we needed to generate markdown pricing model. First, price of product. The price of the table lamp is 50 ringgit and the inventory is 200 per month. Selling season are two days, one day for intermediate discount and one day for clearance discount. The rest of the days, are, which is 22 days, are days of full retail. In this business, we choose 20% for intermediate discount and 50% for clearance discount. For the sales data table here, it shows the average daily sales if we apply 20% discount. The average daily sales will increase 10% from 20 to 22. For the, the demand function parameters, we use intercept function and slope function. The intercept function is 30 means if the price change, the sale will stay at 30. The value of slope is negative 0.2 means if the price increase, the demand will start to drop but not too large amount. The business can increase the price but cannot set the price too high. Based on the previous data, we could calculate the revenue of business when we sell the product at normal price which is 50 ringgit in 22 days and the revenue of full retail sales are 22,000 ringgit. For the discount sales, the business applied 20% discount which changed the price to 40 ringgit for only one day per month. The discount revenue is negative 70,600 and for the clearance sales, the business applied 50% discount which changed the price to 25 ringgit for one day and the business able to generate 5,000 ringgit which result in the total revenue 9,400 ringgit. Next, scenario summary. The scenario summary is the effect of total revenue if the business change the intermediate discount. Based on the table, the business should increase the intermediate discount from either 50% to 60%. This is because this can generate higher total revenue compared to the current total revenue. If the business choose to increase the discount rate to 60%, the business will be able to gain 9,900 ringgit per month. We also advise the business to not lower the discount rate below 40% and below since it provides lesser total revenue. My name is Nozref Hani Binti Zul Zahari and I will continue the presentation with profit model based scenario after calculating all the include costs. So, the profit that we will make based on our assumption is 9,500 ringgit, which is not sufficient because our target is RM20,000. We implemented two ways in order for us to get the target model, which is one-way table and two-way table. So, the most suitable way to get the target profit by using the two-way table, which is by changing the demand from 1,000 to 1,200 units and also lower down the unit cost from RM33 ringgit to RM32 ringgit. Therefore, the profit that we will get is RM20,700 ringgit. Basically, the unit cost cannot lower than RM32 ringgit because the raw materials is quite expensive nowadays. And also, the price of raw materials was increasing rapidly. I will proceed with profit model forward scenario. As for the profit model forward scenario, the profit that we will get based on our assumptions is 4,500 ringgit. Basically, it is not sufficient because our target is RM12,000 ringgit. In order to solve this problem, the best way is by changing the demand from 900 units to 800 units and lowering the quantity produced 1,200 units to 800 units. So, the profit that we will get is RM12,000 
12,700 ringgit. Since our company only run a small business, we are still trying to do extra marketing to market our product and gain a maximum profit. But we also have to take our consideration of our ability to gather the needs of our customers. Concerning the outsourcing choice, we want to demonstrate and determine there are numerous variables that we may examine before making the outsourcing option, such as cost savings, price, the capacity to fulfill deadlines, and minimum monitoring. They have two versions that are manufactured in-house and budget from suppliers. As we can see, the best option is manufacturing. This is due to reduce cost of manufacturing in-house versus purchasing from another uh, supplier. The whole manufacturing cost, if we create on our own, is 39300 uh, but the total buying cost, if we acquire from the supplier, is 48000 The difference in cost between manufacturing and purchasing from a supplier is around 8700 which the, which is the entire amount that we may save if we make ourselves rather than purchasing from a source. However, the outsourcing choice must be explained if our organization wishes to outsource while still being profitable. Uh, we may infer that the fixed cost will remain constant at 900. Using what if analysis, the unit cost will be reduced from 50 ringgit to 40 ringgit making it slightly cheaper while still generating a profit. The cost of new production is 39,300 and the total purchase price is 48,000. As a result, we may deduct that if our organization wants to earn from outsourcing, we must minimize unit costs. Understanding the relationship between price, volume, and expenditures is key to breaking even. Price is the amount we charge for our products and services. Volume is the amount we sell and expenditures are the cost of doing so. We can make better financial judgment if we understand how they interact with another, with one another. However, in order to reach the break-even threshold, uh, the cost difference between total manufacturing and total purchasing cost must be zero, implying that both total costs must be the same. To achieve the break-even decisions, the manufacturing output will be reduced from 1,200 uh, units to 112.5 uh, units or 130. Uh, so, the conclusion is, first, it is ideal for the profit model of the best scenario if we boost demand while decreasing unit pricing costs. Meanwhile, in the worst case scenario, in order to accomplish the 12,000 profit objective, we must minimize the product's demand and amount produced. Next, for the markdown pricing, we have decided to provide a 50% intermediate discount and an 80% clearance discount. As a consequence, the company nevertheless made a profit of 9,900. Third, because the unit cost is lower, the company should create the product rather than acquire it from a source. Lastly, reduce the manufacturing volume from 1,200 units to 113 units for the optimum break-even decision. So that's all from us. Thank you.